an intelligent illustrated book is not an impossible thing. And we love illustrated books. Illustrated books are those books that, that they're heavy on pictures and elementary school kids love to read them. But sometimes parents, educate, not really educators, sometimes parents or kids might give those books a bad rap because they think they look too young, too babyish. But I love illustrated books that are intelligent and make the younger kids learn and make the older kids want to learn more. A great example of this is Bringing Back the Wolves, How a Predator Restored an Ecosystem. Now, this is a fascinating true story because it's about the wolves in Yellowstone National Park in the late 1800s, when basically the U.S. government said, let's put a bounty on all the top predators since we have so many people moving out west because the wolves might kill them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, reading, I'm reading between the lines here, but basically the wolves weren't exactly dogs. So what happened was the settlers out there, and because of the bounty and the hunters, it was an easy way to make money, they killed most of the wolves. And what they didn't kill, they displaced. So that left Yellowstone with no predators. What happened in the 1900s is that all the other animals flourished. Most of the animals. Because of the ecosystem, what the wolves used to eat no longer got eaten. So they could reproduce like rabbits deer by the tens of thousands. But that also meant that the bushes and the trees didn't last as long because the deer had to eat the bushes. That meant that the insects suffered, which meant that the owls got hungry. It's a fascinating look at the ecosystem. In the book, the illustrations, total package, brilliance. The book is by Jude Isabella with illustrations by Kim Smith, and it's on Kids Can Press. And it's one of those books that really the elementary school kids, as young as, say, eight, they will learn something from it, and they can read it with a little bit of help. But it's also going to demo all the way up through middle school for those readers who want to be seen with an illustrated book. Ugh, it's not that bad, really. Trust me. It's beautiful. Those older kids are going to learn something from it, too, because of the text. Look at the text. This is very smart text in a very smart book. It's going to make young kids learn and make older kids want to learn more. So you like elementary school books, you can subscribe there, dig into more, or subscribe and see what we have to offer.